Are the Yankees preparing a big move? That is what I want to talk about today. But before we get into any of that, I just want to say thank you guys so much as of late for all the support. It means a lot. We're getting a lot more subscribers now. We're approaching 3,000 subscribers, and I just want to say thank you so much. Listen, I really would love to hit that number soon. So if you're not subscribed yet, but you do, you do enjoy the channel and you love the Yankees, please consider leaving a subscribe to help us get to 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone, for the support. It means a lot. So let's talk about why you guys clicked on this video today. And that is, are the Yankees preparing for a big move? I feel like they are. Now, I could blow smoke. I could just make up rumors as much as I want to or make up these wild trade scenarios as much as I want to. But let's talk about the facts. Giancarlo Stanton is out. Josh Donaldson is out is out. DJ LeMahieu isn't healthy. Aaron Hicks is out. We're losing some players in that lineup, but if you want to rely on Joey Gallo, that's a little silly. Now, if you want to tell me Joe Miguel Andujar, absolutely. I'm a huge Miguel Andujar guy, and I really hope he seizes this opportunity, hits the bananas out of the baseball, does what he has to do. He's been looking pretty good in left field. Listen, he's not the most graceful left fielder, but he makes plays. He does what he has to do. He looks better than freaking Aaron Hicks out in the outfield. So he's doing what he has to do. He handles that stick very well. So Miguel Andujar, I really hope he seizes this opportunity, hits the heck out of the ball, some bananas out of the ball, and then we don't have to acquire anybody because we have Miguel Andujar hitting for us. That would be great. But right now, that might not be the case. Even if Miguel Andujar was all of a sudden hitting 330 and he belts 15 home runs within the next month, we're still missing some guys. We still have an automatic out, out in the lineup. Joey Gallo, Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks is out. J Joey Gallo's back. But listen, he's hitting 170. Five home runs. This guy's supposed to be a 40 home run hitter. And he has five home runs. We're in June. We're going to be in June. Uh, what's going on? He strikes out all the freaking time. I don't care. Oh, he's a walk, strikeout, home run guy. He only has five home runs so far. We're in freaking, we, we're going to be in June. So I don't want to hear any of this. I really don't. I'm sick of it, honestly. Joey's a good outfielder, but listen, he can't freaking swing the bat that well. He just can't. He, he hits home runs. All right, great. He only has five. He only has five so far. I mean, come on. He's got five. 170 batting average. I mean, what, what, what's going on? He strikes out all the friggin' time. So, I mean, what the heck? I hope Miggy hits the heck out of the ball. Then we get Stanton back. And then Gallo, he becomes a bench player or something. Because you can't have that in your lineup. You just can't. Jeez. I apologize for that, but my goodness. So this could open up the Yankees to go out and make a big splash. I talked about in recent videos, Ian Happ, he's the, he's not as sexy of a pick as the others, as let's say a Ben Attendee, that would be great to shove in the Red Sox face, right? Brian Reynolds, that would be great too, but he's honestly struggling too. He's a switch hitter for out in Pittsburgh. He's not really hitting well. He has a 216 batting average. He's got five home runs himself. I hope he starts heating it up. Because last year he had a really good year. So maybe for Reynolds, maybe a package for him isn't as high as it was in the offseason. Could be. I love Visa Brian Reynolds. Bring him in here. Have him straighten out in New York. I would love it. Absolutely love it. Maybe it's a slow start, but guys, we're creeping into June now. We're heading into June. So Reynolds, a good player, really good player. I like to have him, but he's struggling too, so we can't ignore that. But it might take a lesser package than it did in the offseason to get him. It might. Let's also talk Juan Soto. He has a 230 batting average. Not very good. It's dropping. Eight home runs. But you have to look at this guy draws freaking walks, man. He's 23, draws walks. He's proven he's one of the best hitters in baseball in the world. Honestly, he is. And the reason why he's sitting so low is because no one's pitching to him. He's like, hey, I want to hit some baseballs. And he's swinging out of the, I mean, he's trying to hit. 
and he and he walks. That's the one thing that you can say about Aaron Hicks too. He's walking, and that's important. That's one thing that that you could say about Hicks. But that's it. That's that's just about it. He had a great start. Then what happened? He's hitting just above 200. I mean, uh, we need, I think, Cashman, guys. There might be a big move coming. Another player who I want to talk about, Frankie Montez, 312 ERA. Maybe we're looking at him. Oakland's going to want a lot because they wanted a lot in the offseason. They're going to want a lot for Frankie. Most likely, we're the Yankees. That They're going to want a lot from us. But Frankie Montez is another player that we should look at and that we could potentially get. He's pitching well. A 312 ERA. He's pitching good. That would be a great addition to that starting rotation. We can't have too many arms, especially the fact that our bullpen, they're dropping like flies out there. Johnny Lasagna, Raldis Chapman, Chad Green, just to name a few. So adding another good starting pitcher would be, would be nice. It would be beneficial. So listen, is a big move incoming for the Yankees? It might be. We just signed Matt Carpenter. We just signed Shane Green. Cashman is bringing in guys to see if it's going to work so he doesn't have to make that big move. But if these moves don't work and we really need to replace that 290, 300 batting average that Stanton has, that power that Stanton has, if we have to replace that in the lineup, Cashman is going to go and try and find someone who could provide not the same that Stanton can because that's nonsense. Stanton is just on a different level than many other players in the league, but somebody who could help hold the fort and be productive. That's what we need. And listen, Miguel Andujar, he could be that guy, but then you also have Joey Gallo and Aaron Hicks. If he comes back, man, we just don't know right now. So guys, listen, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, comment down below. Big move could be coming for the Yankees. Could be. It, it, it makes sense. So, guys, listen. Thank you all for watching. This is Joe. And until next time, signing out.